reading glasses. This book is called The Enemies Within by Trevor Loudon. Communists, Socialists, and Progressives in the United States Congress. And I thought it would be nice to share a little bit of the book. The Prologue, Trevor Loudon's The Enemies Within. Prologue, Why I Stand with America. I am often asked why, as a New Zealander, I should care about the internal politics of the United States. There are two reasons. The first is simple gratitude. My country was saved in World War II from probable conquest by the Imperial Japanese Army by the huge sacrifice of American servicemen in the battles of Midway, Guadalcanal, and the Coral Sea. Without American blood and steel, my country would have almost certainly been lost its freedom and many of my countrymen would have been slaughtered. The second reason is related, but a little more selfish. The reality is that if America loses its economic dynamism, its ability to generate huge wealth, it will inevitably also lose its military superiority. If America loses its position as the world's number one military superpower, who will take its place? The universe abhors a vacuum. If America is no longer the world's leading military power, someone else will be. Realistically, that can only be Russia or China, or more likely an alliance of Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua, and Vietnam. Such an alliance is already partially built through the little publicized Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO. Founded in 2001, the SCO is an economic, political, and military alliance binding Russia, China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. SCO observer states include Iran, India, Pakistan, Mongolia, and Afghanistan. Dialogue partners include Sri Lanka and Belarus. Add to those the neo-communist ruled countries such as South Africa and Brazil, the Latin American leftist ruled nations such as Ecuador and Argentina, most of the Islamic nations and international Islamic terrorism, and you have a huge potential power block, and all, all allied against the United States. As the US dollar slowly sinks and America's prestige and power goes with it, Russia, China, and Iran grow bolder. America's allies such as Israel, Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, Canada, Australia, Britain, Germany, Poland, and Georgia can all see the writing on the wall. The message is clear, every man for himself, or make your peace with the, the quote, evil axis, end quote. America's allies are looking at the leadership coming out of Washington and they are horrified. If America got into a major war with Russia or China tomorrow, many of them would stay neutral. If Russia, China, Iran, and all their allies all attacked a weakened and disarmed America in 10 years time, it's hard to imagine anyone coming to Uncle Sam's aid. Some current, quote, friends, end quote, may even join the anti-U.S. alliance. The Western alliance would struggle to win World War III today. In another decade, there may be no Western alliance left to even, to even fight. If America continues down the current path of impoverishment and disarmament, it is only a matter of time before the combined forces of Russia, China, Iran, Cuba, Venezuela, North Korea, Vietnam, and their Islamic terrorist proteges come to dominate the planet. Can you imagine consigning your children to living in a world ruled by Russia, China, and Iran? Can you envisage what life would be like on a, quote, gangster, end quote, run planet? I live in a tiny country at the bottom of the Pacific. Many of us are very cocky down here. Most of us think that no one will ever threaten our little paradise. If we think about national security at all, it's mainly about keeping foreign bugs out of our apples or nasty parasites away from our sheep and cattle. Yet, China is steadily advancing through the Pacific. It now has several footholds in the region, particularly 
with Fiji, which is our nearest major neighbor in the region except for Australia. Most Kiwis don't care about that because they know the American Navy is always patrolling the region. No one's ever going to challenge America, so they think. But this view is false. This was made very clear to our Australian neighbors in June of 2012. Song Chai Jun XIAO J U N, sorry about this pronunciation, a retired Chinese general told the Sydney Morning Herald that Australia has to find a godfather sooner or later. Australia always has to depend on somebody else, whether it is to be the son of the U.S. or the son of China. Song said, adding that Australia had best choose China because it all, quote, depends on who is more powerful based on the strategic environment. And, and quote. The type of choice, that type of choice, now faces every major U.S. ally around the globe. What if the U.S. economy implodes under the weight of its crushing debt? What if America's long-term but rapidly accelerating slide into socialism sends the United States economy completely out the bottom? What will the Western alliance be then? Who will stop the evil axis from completely dominating the planet? If Americans are mired in poverty and unemployment, will they have either the stomach or the ability to protect what's left of the free world? America will continue certainly continue down that path until it addresses a major problem, an issue almost no one is talking about. The problem is that for more than 50 years, U.S. radicals, many of them allied to hostile foreign powers, have been systematically infiltrating Senate uh, sympathizers, have been sympathetically infiltrating sympathizers and, quote, useful idiots, end quote, into the United States House of Representatives and the Senate. There are now large voting blocks in both houses who, whether they are conscious of it or not, are effectively an enemy, quote, fifth column, end quote, in the heart of the United States government. Until these people are exposed and removed from office, America has no hope of a lasting recovery or maintaining its world leadership role. Until this problem is confronted and dealt with, the very survival of the West is gravely endangered. Without the United States Constitution and the freedoms it protects, America would never have created the bounty it has. Freedom enables prosperity, not natural resources. Without constitutionally guaranteed liberties, America never would have become the richest, strongest, and most benevolent power the world has ever known. And without America, freedom would surely have perished on this planet decades ago. That constitution has never been under more threat than it is today. That threat is primarily internal. The United States Constitution is being destroyed before our eyes by the, quote, enemies within, end quote. Every Westerner who wants to see freedom flourish on this planet, to see liberty and prosperity, prosperity, to see liberty and prosperity spread across the globe, must stand with America now. If America can be turned around, its Constitution restored, its economy re-energized, and its military superiority secured, this planet has a very bright future. However, if America does not confront its internal enemies very quickly, this planet is heading for a period of unimaginable darkness. Every Westerner who loves freedom owes a huge debt to America. Many of us wouldn't even be here had it not been for the United States military and the willingness of hard-working American taxpayers to fund it. I hope this book helps to alert Americans to the greatest threat their nation faces. Please consider it part of my contribution to the huge debt the world's greatest nation is owed by the free people of the planet Earth. Trevor Loudon, Christchurch, New Zealand, June 5, 2013. Thank you, Trevor. That's the prologue to Enemies Within, which he signed for me and said to John, an artist for liberty, Trevor Loudon. Thank you.